Hi everybody. I want to talk to you today about your blog posts that were due on Sunday. Uh, I know many of you are probably very disappointed with your grades and I want to explain what I was looking for and how I graded. First of all, when you go to uh, the Dropbox and you look for your grade, there should be an icon next to it that you can click to see my comments. Some of you got oral comments. That was when my husband wasn't around and I could actually talk without having anybody interrupt me. If you did not receive oral comments, it was because my husband was around and he kept interrupting me. Um, <laughs> I apologize for that. The the biggest problem I saw was people didn't revise the post. They they left it the way it was, even when I had asked them to make specific changes. The other thing is many of you had not listened to the um, videos, which I guess gets, I put that last, but really the problem was in the video I talked about graphics and I also talked about how you should focus on one story. Um, some people tried to focus on one story, didn't quite make it, and I talked to them about it, but most people who focused on one story did very well. Um, I was very concerned about those that did not um, revise the post, and I was very worried about those that didn't focus on one story. Now, if I made comments on your papers this time, then what you need to do for this week after you create your blog at WordPress.com, and please watch the video I have that shows you how to do it, revise your post. And that means actually taking the advice I gave you on the first paper and what I'm saying on this last one. If I, some of you, I just said, hey, you're good to go. You know, you're fine. If I said that, all you have to do is um, copy and paste your words into WordPress, arrange the graphic, make a title, and publish, and you're, and you're done. Once you do that, whether you have to revise and post it or you put what you already have and post it, you need to run the site through one of the sites listed in Everybody Writes on page 83. They're the ones that this will give you ideas about uh, the way your, your sites should look. Um, it'll talk about word count. It'll talk about uh, links of sentences, those kinds of things. And using that advice, you might find that it says all your sentences are six words long average. That is an indication that maybe you need to combine some sentences. And I'm not talking about putting them together without a comma, you know, with a comma. That's what I'm talking about but taking ideas from each sentence and putting them into one sentence um, to make longer sentences. Take one sentence and make it into a dependent clause. Um, some of those sentences could go together. Um, if you get something that your average word sentence, it, uh, words in the sentence are like 12, um, that average is not good. It shouldn't be that high. So maybe you need to look and see if you have run-on sentences, comma splices, things that um, might make your sentences seem long. Or if you have a lot of long, complicated sentences, then um, maybe you need to make them less. Um, that's all I have for you this week. Um, one thing I did want to say is that you... Um, you can run parts of your blog posts by me this week before you post them um, by sending me by email your blog post. Um, you can either send me the address of your post and say, would you look at it on the site and tell me what I need to do? Or if you haven't posted yet, send me the words you're going to put and I will run through them again with you. So please feel free to email me this week with any questions, not questions, those go on, uh, raise your hand, but um, if you want me to look at your work again, send it to me again. I am happy to look at it, and I will look at it again. But when you do send it, please, 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 please tell me what you think, where you think you need help, what, what, what bothers you, what do you want me to look for. Um, Oh, I guess you're looking at my two sons and my daughter-in-law. My daughter-in-law is married to the Mickey Mouse guy, and he, she is going to have a baby, and I'm very excited. Um, 
So that's a look into my life. Please enjoy uh, the week. Please contact me with problems. And uh, if you have any questions about the video, as always, send me an email. Thank you.